All right, coming in with another quick hitter. Now on the table is still Hannibal. Uh, if you saw my other quick hitter, I'm shooting these in succession. But Rising Sun from uh, Simon just came in an Eric Lang designed game. Woo! We'll put this off to the side so it doesn't distract too much. Still in the shrink. Haven't had a chance to open it. Review copies are rolling in. And I've been so busy. Uh-oh, this one's got tape on it or something. Hold on. I'm not looking at it. This is blind. Wow, I can't open it. Well, this could be a problem. Hey, there we go. Finally got the gripper working. All right. I have no idea what's in here. Um, I've got a little bit of water with me. We're going to do just a small sample. All right. We're going to keep this over here and try to keep it away so I don't see it. All right. Color again, it's real hard to tell. I never know if I've got a scotch, a rye, a bourbon, an Irish whiskey. Heck, for that matter, I could have something from Cavalon or Japan. So I don't really judge by color. This is a little bit lighter, but you never know. Some whiskeys will add a color additive, um, which most people don't like. Just give it to me natural. No need to add the, the color additive. But some places do it so the color is consistent. Let's see. Wow. Whoa. Hold on. This is peated. I'm loving it. Okay. This is peated, whatever it is. Let's take uh, the nose from the edge. A little bit of acetone peat. A little bit of the Band-Aid. For those that don't enjoy peated or have never even experienced a peated, these sounds like sound like weird tasting notes. They are. A peat is the peat moss that will be uh, smoked, and when the malted barley is being dried, it's, it imparts some of those earthy flavors. Um, wow, it's it's really... Okay, I got a little bit, a little bit of what I call like railroad Thai tar. My dad and I, before he passed, he was doing some kind of gardening project or whatever, bought these railroad ties, and it kind of had this tarry smell to it. Uh, I just got a little bit of citrus. Usually, I'll get a citrus from a Lafroig. Again, I have no idea what this is. Doesn't quite seem like a Lafroy to me, though. Okay, here we go. Well, it's not a Lafroy. Unless it is. Now I look dumb. <laughs> it's real hard to tell, guys, I'm telling you. All right. I'd almost say kill Homan. But I, I'm not, not, I can't even get in there. Okay, um, let's just do the flavor. So we did the nose. I got a little bit of spice here. All spice clove. Wow. It's an earthier toned peat. It's very smooth. It's not ashtray. Uh, I'm almost having to describe as what it's not. I get a sweet underlayment, like a sugar water in the middle. The finish is not heavy smoke. I almost get a black licorice aftertaste on the finish. Yeah, kind of like if you've ever had a real heavy, heavy, strong black licorice, and after you've chewed it, you still have that lingering black licorice flavor in your cheek. That's kind of what I'm getting on it now. Let me try another sip, and then I'm going to add water, and then we'll look. Hmm. It's a nice peat, but I can't pin it down. I can't pin down exactly what it is. I 
I wouldn't change anything from what I've told you there so far with that. Let me try it with the water and then we're going to take a look. I didn't have enough in there that diluted it a bit much. Still nothing earth shattering. Darkness Port. Oh, Darkness Port Charlotte. And then it's uh, looks like PX Pedro Jimenez Oloroso Hybrid finished six six months. I think is what it says. Fifty five point nine percent. So Darkness the Port Charlotte. PX Oloroso Hybrid, finish six months. Lovely. It's smooth. I think that sweet underlayment is probably some of that, uh, and Scott says it way better than I do, the Pedro Jimenez. Jimenez. And that Oloroso, wow. Let me put a little bit more in there. Since I watered it down, I, I liked it a lot better neat. It just felt uh, featherly when I put that water in there. I didn't have enough to kind of support it. Huh, lovely. The Port Charlotte. Woo, who did this come from? Hey, any more samples that come in or if you arrange them to come in, if you want your name mentioned, if not, I get that too. Some people just like to give and they don't need to get. But if you want your name mentioned, throw your name on the, on the samples and, and uh, I'll say it. Mm. Put your nickname even. <laughs> Some people know in the board game world, I'm the chief. <laughs> Scott never uses that. I can't get him to use it. Nor my wife. No, they use other nicknames. All right. Now that I know what it is, again, it's the peated. That's interesting. I love Brooke Lottie's Port Charlotte. Um, I lean toward the the uh, the uh, Port Charlotte Scottish barley. They also have the Isla barley where they've sourced right from a farm that's like within miles of the distillery. Um, they're, those are kissing cousins. Uh, I think you almost wouldn't tell the difference, but I prefer... The Scottish barley a little bit better. I, I don't even know exactly why. I'd love to, I need to parse that out a little bit more. Um, mm. the, the standard Brook Lottie Port Charlotte is always vying for number one against the, I really love the Lefroy Tenure Cast Strike. We are getting ready to do a peat shootout. I had 18 bottles listed. Scott gave me a couple little pointers and maybe threw out a couple other names, so I'm putting it together. We are thinking about having that air in March to coincide again with March Madness. Look for that. I, I'm going to try to put some teasers together with it, too. So, this is delicious. Just to wrap up the port, uh, or the port, Charlotte, it's on my mind. Just to wrap up the quick hitter. That is it. Again, the Darkness. Darkness. Sport Charlotte PX Oloroso Hybrid. Finished six months. 55.9%. I'm digging it. Anytime I can get something peated, it's a good day. See you guys. Test it. Still not sure how to finish these.